Sometimes I talk too f***ing much so it might not be obvious, but I, I hope y'all realize that there's a lot of lore that remains constant with my channel and within my videos. For any of the folks watching that had a totally normal childhood doing things like dissecting scary ice SCP creatures for fun, I took the liberty to set up some, you know, little lore tidbits to give my videos some personality alongside the gaming news that I yap about, like, you know, my, my brand black that I like to wear a lot in my videos, or whether I pay the light bill or not because it's always dark as hell in here. Just little things for anyone who enjoys watching to pick up on, but one thing that I could probably put at the top of that list of lore next to the unpaid light bill statement would be my unliking of the gaming company of Ubisoft. Now, in short, Ubisoft is a company that I really adored when I was basically still a sperm cell with flesh on me. Back then, that was when Ubisoft was dropping banger after banger. Obviously, you probably know the rest of this ancient tale as the game started to have a trend of not being publicly received well after some years. For me personally, it was, you know, pretty much every game after Far Cry 4. Then on top of that, they made even more shitty decisions internally on account of their CEO that left a really bad taste in my mouth. Just to top it off with the Skull and Bones game that I was hyped for out of delusion just for it to be nothing more than a dumbed down version of Assassin's Creed ship combat. I've since dropped more disses than Drake or Kendrick could even try to fathom. Of course though, you know, when I talk about Ubisoft or its staff members specifically, it's all obviously in trouble, you know. The beef is more one-sided than ranked players against regular lobbies, but in truth, it really does suck for me that, you know, I just can't enjoy Ubisoft titles the way that I used to. Especially since they still have IPs that I hold near and dear to my heart we haven't seen in a while, like the Driver franchise, to which Ubisoft is currently cooking up something for the series in the shadows, but it has me feeling pretty bittersweet about it. So if you don't know, the Driver franchise is a series of high-speed chase and racing games found by Ubisoft Reflections all the way back in the PlayStation 1 era, which if I told you how long ago that was, I feel like I'd send any of my older viewers into a crisis, so I'm just gonna leave that to y'all. But since then, we've had five mainline releases in the Driver franchise, with the last being the classic game of Driver San Francisco back in 2011. Now, that game was the one that I played the most of out of any of the Driver titles, but you know, I dabbled in Driver 3 as a kid, and I went back to play the first Driver on the PS3's built-in emulator. And so based on my experience, I can say that these games are just fun ass arcade driving sims that do what you expect them to, which is to keep you at the edge of your seat in high octane focus and figure out how the pedestrians move out the way no matter how fast you come at them. They are classic games without a doubt, but 2011 was a long time ago to which we haven't heard anything much about the IP except for a sequel being scrapped for development on Watch Dogs back in 2014 at least until around 2021 when Ubisoft surprisingly announced a collaboration to bring the Driver series to the live action TV stage. And that news was received kind of mixed and even I question if it was just going to be another generic cop show, but I was still willing to, you know, try it out and see if it keep me hyped for a new game to come out. So, you know, that's been in the back of my mind, at least until around yesterday when Ubisoft dissed me back and announced that they were canceling the show. What the f***? Apparently, the studio that was producing the show, Binge, which I have never even heard of before in Echoes, apparently their parent company seems to have gotten eliminated out of the battle royale of existing. So Ubisoft gave the statement to the journalist Stephen Todolo, saying that they are no longer moving forward with a partnership to make the Drive live action TV show. But then get this, in that same interview, Ubisoft also stated that they're actively working on other things related to the driver IP right now as we speak. They didn't specify if it was a new game installment, you know, new spin-off series, or maybe some toy line, I guess, but they have finally confirmed that something related to the series is in fact on the horizon. And let me tell you, man, I really just do not appreciate the up and down cycle of emotions that I had while reading through this interview because, you know, Driver is still one of Ubisoft's IPs that I still have some sort of care about since it has yet to be gentrified in Ubisoft's current mid-sequel cycle. So with that being said, I'm going to pretend the word contradiction doesn't exist for just a moment and just throw out the statement that there's a very, 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 very smart part of me 
that might have a sixteenth of a centimeter of an ounce of hope for a new good driver game to come out. Maybe. Very hard, maybe. Now the word around town is that Ubisoft is apparently back or you know at least being a fan favorite again in many players right now because of their ex defiant shooter game that people seem to really enjoy so as some can make the argument that they don't need to revive any more of their ips anymore if this game you know drives them to more success but i think i speak for the culture when i say that a well-made installment to the driver games would be a great stepping stone into turning ubisoft into the powerhouse that it used to be that is, of course, only if they care to not write device of characters that the internet is going to interpret as being woke, you know, who really knows at this point. But even if it is, you know, it won't really matter to me as long as the gameplay itself is up to par. You see, I never really cared about the driver storyline as much as I did ramming the ever-loving life out of the cars I'm trying to chase down or, you know, with the races, so I'm willing to give Ubisoft's writing team a pass if they can slam dunk a good driving sim. That's all that I asked for. But of course, we don't know much other than these words that we just, you know, have on paper right now. So we just have to wait and see what the future holds for Driver's next game in the future. So what do you guys think about Driver possibly coming back, man? Feel free to comment down below. As always, if you like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. <sighs> I don't know how to feel right now. I'll see you on the next one.